What can be said about the Gorax, other than avoid at all costs, that is? A stinking, gluttonous, violent beast. A rampaging Gorax is a brutish slab of muscle and hair driven by little more than anger and appetite. Compounding its awfulness, anything other than a lethal blow made against a Gorax renders it stronger, deadlier, and though it would seem utterly impossible, angrier than before. Wounded Gorax should only be approached with great caution, and ideally a warjack or two. Great hulking brutes inhabiting the temperate forests of western Imran, Gorax are primitive creatures that blur the line between man and beast. The body of a Gorax is thickly muscled, with iron hard tendons strained against bones as dense as hardwood. A heavy mane of matted hair grows down a Gorax's spine, matched by similarly small patches on the backs of its disproportionately long arms. The enormous claws of its oversized hands are ideal for either digging or slashing deep furrows into the flesh of its prey. A wide maw distended by heart and teeth and tusks protruding at irregular angles dominates the creature's ugly face. Even more terrifying than its physical appearance is the beast's unique response to pain. Gorax are not just inured to the effects of injury, they are entirely fueled by it. This paradoxical response drives an injured Gorax to attack with ever-increasing savagery until it is forced into a blind frenzy of blood rage. In its throes, an enraged Gorax was, is strong enough to tear a warhorse in half, and the bodies of lesser creatures presented with very little resistance. A wounded Gorax can remain in this state of heightened bloodlust for a prolonged period of time, sometimes as long as several hours after the initial injury that caused it. Though its primitive features belie this fact, a Gorax possesses a cunning mind. Gorax are able to communicate with one another through a rough series of guttural vocalizations, and they can be taught through extended effort to follow simple commands. This ability to be trained, coupled with the Gorax's response to injuries, made them a popular spectacle in underground blood sport arenas. Gorax are often wounded by their handlers prior to the bout, which often involves the beast fighting packs of vicious dogs or groups of men armed with bladed weapons. During the Thousand Cities era, warlords prized the Gorax for their relative cunning and response to pain and used the beasts as frontline shock troopers. Directed at the enemies, the dozens of Gorax would tear across the battlefield unimpeded by strikes from arrows. Once the Gorax fell into a column, their strength already greatly magnified by pain fuel rage, the enemy would quickly be torn to pieces. Gorax too wounded to recover and those too full of bloodlust to be easily controlled were simply put down. The tendency of rage fuel Gorax to attack allies and enemies in equal measure eventually reduced the beast's usefulness in battle, but some still continued to capture and enslave them for use in combat. The black clads of the Circle of Boros make extensive use of the Gorax as war beasts, prizing it for its natural ferocity and sheer power. In the wild, most beasts make their home in natural caverns, as they prefer dark and damp dwellings. They expand the interior of a cave by scraping at the walls with their claws, and a Gorax den is easily identified by deep, overlapping furrows carved into the earth and stone. Gorax often keep a surplus of meat in their dens, and will drag half-eaten beasts through the forest back to their caverns for later consumption. Gorax and trolls often compete for prey and territory, particularly when the troll is drawn to the sight of a Gorax den by the smell of its stored meat. When the two creatures meet, they tear at each other savagely with fangs and claws, and the victor typically consumes the body of the loser. Gorax are well known for their rank sour odor. Gorax saliva and sweat is thick with pheromones the creature uses to identify each other. A Gorax habitually licks its arms to keep the musk strong, as those with a more powerful odor are more likely to attract a mate. Most other creatures are repulsed by the smell of the Gorax alone. Gorax are true carnivores, as they care little for the source of meat. Any animal that comes close enough for a Gorax to wrap its knuckled hands around is eaten with very little hesitation, though the Gorax seems to hold human flesh in high regard. Gorax that taste the blood of mankind seek it out, which has caused some of the beasts to move from their wilderness domain to the fringes of civilization. Isolated homesteads have utterly vanished and buildings have been reduced to rubble due to a rampaging Gorax seeking to slate his own hunger.